Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me for this, what I felt like would be a special occasion for me. It was my birthday back in September and I wanted to share with you my adventures of making a life-size Barbie box. Every year I have a birthday that come along, I try to figure out what did I want to, what do, what would I like to do different? You know, how do I want to express myself that particular year? And this year I chose the life size Barbie box. I was definitely inspired by the Tara Perez project. Shouts out to you. Go over there and follow her. She is a awesome 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 person and she gave me she was my inspiration to doing this because she did one herself and it turned out beautifully and with her guidance and her clear concise instructions i was able to follow it and customize it a little bit to make it a little more me and uh it turned out great i wanted to take you on a shopping spree with me to hobby lobby to show you my shopping cart to make it easier for you to find your items if you choose to make one for yourself don't forget, Hobby Lobby always offers 40% off one regular priced item. So if you have your cell phone and you're in the line, just pull it up, hit print coupon, and then it's a barcode that will come up and they will scan it and you'll get that 40% off that regular price item in addition to any of the sales promotions that they're running in the store during that time. So let's get started. To start off, I wanted to show you that I'm using, I used uh, the clear transparent duct tape as a reinforcer when I was making some of these uh, little brace out of foam board. What I would do, I would put my foam board together, I would hot glue them together, and I would use this little piece of foam board. Does not have to be cut perfectly or anything like that, but I put hot glue on it. Uh, put it up against the foam board where it's able to touch both pieces of foam board and I also duct taped it down because I knew I would want this um, stabilizer to help keep the foam boards together and to keep the shape of the box once I stood it up. I also used the pink bulletin board paper roll. The reason why I chose to use this paper roll is because one, it's bigger, it's wider, and you get more. I bought two of these in order to make sure that I'm able to cover both sides and the inside of my life-size dog box. I wanted to be able to cover it whole with that. And with doing that, I was able to cut certain pieces and I do have some of that roll left. So I really didn't even use the whole roll. I still have quite a bit left. And um, this is it. It's very long, as you can see. And it worked out perfectly. And had I used a regular roll, I would have had to buy more than one. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, well, more than two. Um, so moving on, I, w I went and I got the sprinkles gift wrap as well. I lined the inside of the back of the box just to give it another dynamic. Um, I knew that I didn't use another color, but I, know, I knew I needed something to break it up, but give it another wow factor. Um, also, of course, like I mentioned before, I used a glue gun and you will probably need a whole pack of the mini glue gun sticks. Um, the glue sticks that goes into them because I wanted to make sure that anything that I hot glued together, I used a nice amount of hot glue to be able to stabilize the entire project. I also used this Mambo Pink Krylon Gloss Spray Paint. I spray painted the entire front of the life-size box so I can have that glossy effect, the same effect that you would pretty much see in the store if you were purchasing a Barbie out of the store. I tried to make it look as realistic as possible. And also the white foam boards, um, I bought the 20 by 30, making my entire project six feet tall. I wanted to make sure that I'm able to get in there, move around, and it was three and a half feet wide. Um, these eight um, foam boards allowed me to be able to, I was able to cut some of them to um, 
stack two of the 20 by 30s on top of each other and then I just needed a I think maybe it was another 10 or 11 inches of another piece of that foam board so I did piece it together as far as the height is concerned when it got to the tops of the side and the tops of the back piece but all in all uh, I spent $86.60 for most of these materials to make this box. I also went to Party City and bought these 24 inch balloons. They turned out pretty big and you can make them as big as you want, but it was four in in the pack. And I just used regular, um, regular air to blow these up with my balloon machine. And I used two of these and it worked really good. And as far as my Barbie lettering, what I did, I found a, I downloaded a Barbie logo onto a USB drive. I took it to Staples and I had them to blow it up to a, um, to a large size. I can't remember. It was 24 by something, uh, but I knew it needed to. I needed to account for the four inches in. So I told her it had to be at least. Um, three feet long, um, two and a half to three feet long. So she played with it a little bit, blew it up, and voila, it was perfect. And when I got home, I cut around the the top of the B, the A, R, B, I, E. I cut along the top of that when I laid it on my box before I cut out my whole big uh, opening. I laid that at the bottom of my box and I sketched it out. I used my X-Acto knife, in which you can find these at any craft store, Walmart, or anywhere else. And I used this X-Acto knife. It came with the additional blades as well. Uh, and I cut out the, um, the framing of the lettering so I can actually place the word Barbie right in the shadows of it. I was able to use my hot glue gun to glue down the word Barbie on my box in a shadow fashion. That way it turned out perfectly and I didn't have to do any more alterations to it. It glued just fine and um, I just kind of rubbed a book over it to get it to adhere perfectly. Those were all the items that I had to buy outside of what's listed here. These um, balloons, they were, I think they were $5 from Party City. And I think they charged me around $24, $22 for the, the Barbie and the big 24 by something. I'm sorry, I don't have those dimensions, but at Staples, they can blow it up for you. Just know, just take it there on a USB drive. They can blow it up for you. You don't have to worry about the individual letterings and you don't have to worry about it being crooked or anything. You could just put it all, paste it all at one time on your project. Stay tuned. I have some pictures to show you how the project turned out. Okay, this is the finished product of my Barbie photo box that I used for my birthday. Um, I was deeply and uh, quickly inspired by another YouTuber in which I put her name and her link um, down below in the uh, details. But I really enjoyed the way my box turned out. I took my time and... I decided just to do a little uh, different backdrop and there you have it ladies. <music>